we're going to take a look at the new connect director what now replaces shoreware director and we're going to take a look at connect director one of the first things you should appreciate and realize is the fact that connect can now be uh, ex um, accessed through not only IE but Internet Explorer Chrome and even um, Safari so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to log into the connect take two what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log into the connect director so 10.99.100.10 forward slash shoreware director and now you have the shortel connect director and if you can see here this is actually build 21 um, shortel connect which is shortel 14, 15 what I'll do now is I will log in And what you'll notice is the first thing it does, it looks like the Diagnostics and Monitoring Tool, or the Quick the quick View is the di Diagnostics and Monitoring Tool of Shortel Connect. Let's expand this. So the first thing you do see is a dashboard. All right. Like your Diagnostics and Monitoring, where you can see your call volume for the system, your call quality, the MOS scores for it, your trunk utilization, how much utilization, like how close you've got to your... 50%, 80% utilization, bandwidth utilization between sites, highest feature usage, and even highest CPU usage. And you can go back to one hour, 12 hours, one day, and even 30 days to grab a snapshot. Okay. On the top here are alerts. So anytime you have an issue where, for instance, it's something is not connected or it's disconnected, you will get warnings or alerts. And if you click on here, it's going to drill you right down into the actual alert page. So you can take a look at the alerts and you can clear them. Also similar to the, the diagnostics and monitoring tool, you have the topology page. And the topology page is going to give you a graphical layout of your Shortel system. So right now you see that I've got uh, a DVS server that's running Linux, uh, vTrunks, they're all green, white area network, I can move this around. If I wanted to drill down, you can see the IP address. Each, and much like this old uh, quick look, green means good, yellow means there's an issue, and red means they're down. Okay, so you take a look at the topology here. You go into the status, and the one thing it doesn't have that uh, I've so, so far I, I'm sort of uh, missing is the connectivity screen where you can see the full matrix and of the connectivity uh, between all the switches. So here's the status and what you may remember as sort of the quick look page gives you the headquarters, all your servers on the right hand side. I can drill down into it and it's going to bring up the information of the site. So I can see the site information here, 4 to 5, I've got my headquarters, my virtual IP switch, virtual appliance which is the conference bridge, a v trunk switch tells you your communications, any issues you have on the server side, performance. Let's take a look at the calls. So every call you have, again with the call good, and you have these little um, windows on the right hand side. So if you want to get a full screen, much like in the contact center, I can go through and obviously click on each one of these, and it's going to drill down into some more details, and it's going to give you a listing of those calls maximize this again and we're going to take a look at the information here so who it was where it was called IP address the MAC address the MOS score and any loss jitter packet delay packet loss or jitter IP path trace if it's available it's going to give me all that information okay so you can see that there the alerts we talked about already now from the main screen here You've got your you've got your little administration, which is a, a wrench, and this is where you can do all your configuration, your users, your trunks, your telephones, system information. Again, like the contact center, it's got a search feature. So if you're like, hey, where do I set up administrator roles? I type R O L E S, and it brings up roles. I click on roles, and it's going to bring back the page where I've got I can create administrative roles. 
So the layouts are different, but all the information is the same. So you can create the roles, the account codes, um, the different types of roles, as many as you want. And then you can assign the users to those roles, user groups, distribution lips, so distribution lists, not lips, work groups, and then the sites. Okay, so what they have access to. Now, that's the configuration piece. So if I want to add a new appliance, I go into here and say platform equipment. And this is going to show me all my equipment here. And on the bottom, you'll see I've got all my information like the MAC address, the IP address. There seems to be a lot of uh, FQDNs or fully qualified domain names. Uh, and there's a requirement when you add these switches, you have to put them in. Uh, or it says, or you have to put in the, the IP address. Spare switches. You know, although the layout is different, a lot of the, the informational pieces are the same. So um, there's not a lot of new pieces to discover here. Music on hold, extension lists, features, system-wide, digit translation tables. There is this piece on hybrid where this is where you connect to the Shortel Connect cloud if you're syncing to cloud-based services. And then system information. All right. So you've got the next tab, which is the gear, and this gives you things like system, let's see what's it called, it's called system, licenses, administrative permissions, security, contact information, and downloads. So if you wanted to download, uh, in the previous version, you'd have to go and say, I want to add a Shortel virtual SA appliance. And when you went to add it, there was a link to download the image. Now you actually go to what's called the download page, and you can download all your um, templates from here, the OVAs, uh, virtual switches, Edge Gateway, Linux DVS. You can all do it from here. Then you've got your reporting tab. Then your documentation tab. Maintenance tab. So again, this will give you the dashboard topology and the stuff that we looked at when we first logged in. Um, configuration. Threshold configurations. So you can change when it alerts based on those thresholds. And then you got your remote packet capture. You can set up from here. I believe one of the things I did see or hear was that um, with some of the diagnostics, if you were to do a PRI trace, what it'll do is in the remote packet capture, it is supposed to actually capture the PRI trace information. So if I said I wanted to run a trace on here and I hit start, apply, it will pop up and ISDN protocol. So if you have a T1 uh, switch, you can actually run the ISDN protocols and it will save it into a PCAP or a, a Wireshark uh, with the ISDN protocol information. So no longer do you have to do the PRI debug on the switch and then copy it over to um, a notepad and go through it. It's actually going to give you a PCAP, which is handy. So basically, that's it. So everything's in a, in a different layout. Uh, it is harder to find stuff, but it's only a matter of getting to learn it. Uh, and again, this search feature has been helpful. So if I, I guess, one of the things I tried to do the other day was I wanted to set up a soft phone and enable myself with a soft phone. And what it does is it says, hey, it's in this Users tab. So I click on the Users tab. And you'll see here under the users that are set up on the system, if I go down here under telephony, you'll see it says enable telephony presence, uh, enable use of soft phone. will be here as well. Right there, enable use of soft phone, shared call appearance. So a lot of it is, instead of one single page that you're able to scroll down, it's now into different tabs. So... Um, it is interesting that they created DNS-based routing on a, a per-user basis, uh, which you could create different music on holds based on different numbers coming in. Um, bulk edit. So that's the batch edit file. You can now do a bulk edit. Oh, there's the, the phones. You can copy phones down there as well. And then if you wanted to export those files, you can export right here. It's going to generate that list. You open it up, and it's going to give you that Excel spreadsheet of all the users in the system. So that's a quick uh, tour around the new Shortel Connect or Connect Director. And uh, 
it should be coming out shortly and the new way to administrate short home.